Yeah, I'm beginning this walk from my house down there. It's a fairly nice sunny afternoon. Not particularly warm for the middle of July, but it's uh, it's about uh, I suppose quite normal for the coastal Welsh coastal summer. Is this convenient and stone style, which I've climbed over many times in the past twelve years? The ferns are starting to take over, tending to obliterate the footpaths. This track here leads to a, a wall that's been bricked off, so the track is no longer used. Uh, but it makes a, a good footpath. This is a continuation of the disused track. It, uh, obviously was used in the past, hence the stone walls on either side. Luckily, the cattle are in an adjoining field. So, I won't be disturbing them. Yes. There's a head. I always like this view as we come over the brow of the hill. You see Marlborough and the Rinogs up ahead. There's an old barn, long disused. This track is used though. It's uh, to gain access to the fields from the lane. And ahead of me are the Rinogs. I'll go through this gate and then turn right. Okay, I'll go down this lane for a hundred yards and then turn left onto another well, tarmac road initially. And over there is Shell Island and Pentham Harbour. This is where I turn left and go up this track, which serves the farmhouse and uh, a holiday home and also a small caravan site. There's a the small caravan site down there. Doesn't look like anyone's at home. Uh, this weekend, uh, I'll be going along this track, which serves as the farm track and also goes to a holiday home. And, uh, from this, you always have a, a good view of the Rinogs. In the middle foreground is uh, that hill there, which at roughly the same height as I'm standing on now. It's uh, on top of that is the remains of a hill fort. And of course, I've got this on telescopic just to show the, the Rinogs. There's always a 
always impressed me from this viewpoint. Here's a junction of tracks leading to farmhouses. I'll be going in down this track and pass by that cottage over there. There's a quite a nice little uh, section of the, the track that has uh, some pleasant trees. By way of contrast to the moorland terrain, which is normally the rule. This is hardly the cottage. Quite, quite well looked after. There's someone at home. Quite a nice weekend, so luckily. There are no cattle here. I came up that rough track there, which is also a favourite. This gate I'm coming to was new just maybe five years ago, but they quickly age. This is a uh, this path goes nicely through this undergrowth. Uh, no problem. Somebody goes through the trouble of keeping this uh, path clear, the grass cut. And you might be the people in the cottage. But uh, we're coming up here to another one of these ancient stone stalls. I think it was, they were put in in the good old days to allow people to attend church maybe the the grandmothers and the mothers and the daughters to pay their respects to the local Welsh chapel I've just come from that oak oak tree coppice they're, they're the natural native trees in this area And the path still quite clear, and I'm coming down now to a tarmac lane, very little used, that serves a well, an ex farmhouse. Now I've always thought this pleasant corner of the uh, of the local neighbourhood. There's the outbuildings up there of the house which we're coming to. I just passed a man walking his dog, which normally I have this place to myself. Coming up to the house. It was uh, Occupied when I came 12 years ago, but uh, I suppose whoever lived in it may have died, and then it lay empty for a while, and then you know, the outbuildings belonging to this house, which now appears to be occupied by a family. You see, considerable outbuildings. And there's an old vice which has been left in place. Uh, uh, yes, there's a footpath sign that's been placed there recently. So I can... The path is somewhat un overgrown, but still quite passable. And uh, another footpath sign. has been put in place quite recently to indicate the right of way. 
I'll be going up here and uh, no problem. The sun has gone in, so maybe the color won't be showing quite as well, but I just thought I'd take a nicer picture of these, this line of trees. There's a mixture of trees there, oak, ash and maple, it's always caught my eye. I'll continue up here to another old barn, barn all very well past its sell-by date. This is barn the roof has fell in been falling in some years, although I was, the roof was still on when I first came. It's, luckily I'm not wearing shorts, so I'm going through a nettle patch here. I'll go up that, that way. There's the old barn. I'll shortly be, be coming up to another one. Uh, that's also falling into a state of repair. Somewhere around here is an ancient settlement, according to the Ordnance Saver map. But I've never been able to locate it. There's the Harlech Waterworks. There's a settlement there. Of, well, just two houses and a chapel at the crossroads. No longer used, but still kept kept up by volunteers, I presume. Here's the barn. I have it on telescopic. Malfra and the Renox. There's the old barn. And they have put, put new footpath signs in, uh, indicating the, the way, but as I say, these, I rarely see walkers in this uh, area, uh, which is kind of nice in a way. Uh, okay, I go this way, up to the the lane, and another footpath sign. There's a little hilltop hamlet, and uh, here is where I crossed the lane. These gates must have been replaced when they put the footpath sign in. And there's an ancient, an ancient uh, right away taken back to prehistoric times. Go across there, and then it's downhill. Crossing yet another star, and having my last look at the Rinnock skyline. But unfortunately, the right away I normally go along is there's cattle there. So, rather than disturb them, I'll Take a short detour through these uh, this scrub. There's the cattle over there, and uh, first time I've noticed this is this kind of like a vegetation seems to have taken over low line ground cover. It's, uh, it makes it uh, difficult to see where to go. OK, 
there. And now in the clear, and it's all downhill now to the house. Oh, probably a ten minute walk. This does duplicate another another uh, walk I did a couple of weeks ago. But um, it's always worth. Okay, this is the last of the stone stars on this walk, but this one, this stone star, isn't is a bit more difficult to uh, Luckily there's a handhold here, but I always have to be a little bit careful. Okay, coming to the end of this particular walk, the descent down this, this incline, and uh, coming into view now is uh, probably the most extensive settlement in prehistoric settlement in this uh, area. It's called the Irish Settlement. I think the Irish you just about maybe see just a little bit of the Irish Settlement there from the same height as I'm standing now and I'm surrounded here by gorse bushes which are now of course no longer in flower. So my house is the down there. So this is the end of the walk. I'll I'll finish it here.